Welcome back to the channel, everyone. We have breaking news this morning regarding one AEW talent who wants out of his contract. And Fightful Select is reporting that Miro, formerly known as Rusev during his time in WWE, has asked for his release from All Elite Wrestling. This maybe isn't too much of a surprise as Miro hasn't been featured on AEW programming at all in 2024. His last match for the company was at AEW World's End on December 30th. Now, after that match, it was reported that he had some shoulder and elbow injuries that were going to keep him on the shelf for a bit. And he is said to have been sidelined longer than AEW expected him to be. But he is said to be healthy and ready to return to the ring. However, creative problems, the creative differences between Miro and All Elite Wrestling that have sort of plagued their working relationship since he signed with the company have cropped up again. So it's being reported that Miro had pitched working with John Moxley earlier this year and that AEW had also considered using him in the Casino Gauntlet match at All In. However, the two sides, AEW and Miro, just couldn't get on the same page creatively once again. And that has been the story of the last four years for Miro in this company. So he debuted in September 2020. It started off all fine. He was doing a gimmick as the best man and was aligned with Kip Sabian and Penelope Ford. He had a run as TNT champion, but things started to fall off and he was used on AEW programming less and less. However, despite this, it was later reported that in the spring of 2022, he signed a four-year contract extension with the AEW that is believed to keep him under contract with the company until spring of 2026. So there's no word on if AEW does plan on releasing Miro or not. If they don't, it seems like he could just be sitting on the sidelines until all the way to like March 2026. And it's also being said that he earned seven figures on his deal. And that's seven figures to just sit at home. That's not a bad gig if you can get it. Perhaps there is interest from WWE in having Miro return to the company. And that could be something that is motivating Miro to get released from AEW. But that's just speculation. We don't have any news on whether or not that's the case. A few other bits of wrestling news to keep you up to date. In preparation for the Mr. McMahon docu-series that is set to release on September 25th, so that's next Wednesday, Janelle Grant has enlisted the PR firm SKDK, and that is the firm that has previously worked with high-profile cases, uh, such as the working with the survivors of Harvey Weinstein and Jeffrey Epstein. So... Grant's uh, team, Grant wasn't there, but her lawyers and her press team held a press conference on Thursday. And this is what Ann Callis, that's Grant's lawyer, uh, said to press at this meeting. They said, we have not seen the documentary, referring to uh, the Mr. McMahon series on Netflix. She continued, Janelle deserves the opportunity to tell her full story, not to be a part of someone else's. She will get her day in court and McMahon will be held accountable. And Janelle has the right to tell her story in her own way at the right time. Janelle's story is an important one, and we hope Netflix's docuseries does it justice. Her experience is integral to an accurate and whole retelling of the story of WWE and Mr. McMahon. Let's go over some of the other items making headlines in the world of professional wrestling today. So Kota Ibushi has been announced for a Gleet show next month. He is going to be on the Gleet event in Edion Arena in Osaka on October 6th. It's not clear who Ibushi's opponent is going to be on the show, but this is a fairly big show that Gleet is putting on. Ricochet is also going to be on the show. He's teaming with Shima to face... El Hio del Vikingo, provided that Val Vikingo is cleared, he still hasn't been cleared to return, and he was scheduled uh, for a show in Mexico that he wasn't able to make. Also, Zachary Wentz and Trey Miguel of the Rascals will be on the show, as will former NXT and AEW wrestler Parker Boudreaux. 
Jim Ross has confirmed that he will be doing commentary for AEW Grand Slam. He mentioned this on his podcast and also said he might be doing more than usual on the show. As of late, he just kind of does one match or a big match on a pay-per-view. So Jim Ross expected to play a role on at AEW Grand Slam. And that's all the big news for right now. Thanks again, everyone, for supporting this channel. Please remember to click the subscribe button, the like button, and the notifications bell. And we'll see you again next video.